Hey everybody, this is Paul, and I'm standing right in front of my Hercules aloe, which is a tree aloe. And you can see how large it is, it's huge, man. I love this thing, it's gonna split. Um, I can't wait for it to grow. This is the first time I've ever seen the top in there, so hopefully it's gonna split this season. But the purpose of this video today is to talk about the plant hoarding going on here for aloes. Um, we don't have all 580 plus varieties, but uh, we have many from around the world. So today I'm gonna show off my collection of aloes. So here's Hercules aloe, you can see. It's really tall. It's one of the fastest tree aloes. You can see the beautiful trunk that it develops rather quickly. Um, right now it's about 39 degrees here, really cold evening, or morning I should say, excuse me. Um, here's aloe viambre, so got a little bit does not like the cold as much, it's more thin, but this is also a tree aloe um, that, from Madagascar. Here is also another tree aloe known as the Dr. Seuss tree, um, or the quiver tree I believe, but it's slow growing. So if you want a tree aloe, I would recommend getting aloe Hercules, that one gets really really big compared to some of the other varieties that we have. We have some more we'll show you in a second. Okay, so jumping down here, here's some unknown varieties of aloes. Um, I'll identify them in the future. And this little guy is called a bottle brush aloe. So I think it will get rather large. Don't know much about it, but that's a bottle brush aloe. So some aloes will also get really small. As you can see here, this guy is pretty tiny. So this is a Christmas um, carol aloe. Aloe Christmas carol, something like that. So you can see it's just very tiny, petite aloe compared to other varieties and it's very very um, soft so the fi fins will, are not serrated I should say the spines so it's definitely not going to cut you or hurt you so Christmas aloe Christmas carol up here we have a few other varieties here this is one of my favorite it if, we, if you've seen our other video it's red in the summer but in the winter it's green and this is um, Mount Elgon aloe. It's a bit more on the rare side, native to Africa. Um, aloes in general are native to Africa, Arabia, and Madagascar, and some other probably island chains that I'm not familiar with. Here is a nice torch aloe, but we'll show you a better variety and bloom in, in a little bit. Um, I think this is here is, if I am right, I want to say that looks like a variety of aloe vera or something similar but I'm not a hundred percent sure so this was a somebody gifted this to me this is our new variety right here this is actually called Alan uh, aloe Ellen Becky and so I don't know much about it got it at Waterwise Botanicals but you can see it's blooming already very beautiful flowers and the plant itself is just awesome and they'll do well in containers but as you can see with well draining soil um, I like to plant them in ground in Southern California. So this is again Alan, uh, Alo, Ellen Becky. Don't know much about it, but I do know its flowers are stunning. Look at that. Okay, and this guy, this beast is Aloe Ferox, also known as the Cape Aloe. I think Cape or Coast Aloe? Anyways, Aloe Ferox, um, and it's huge. It's finally in bloom. I've been waiting about six years. So you can see the size of it and just how lovely it's gonna be when it opens. I thought the flower was gonna be a bit more red, but they seem to get kind of darker every day. It's a very beautiful tree aloe, slow to grow, but this is about six year old plant and it's already in bloom. Okay, here's the starfish aloe. I, that's what people call it. It gets really, really red in the heat in the hot summer or winter, but I know this as the aloe cameroni. So it's a little guy, it's a new one. Um, just got it, but I can't wait for it to get red. I've been looking for it. They do cluster pup out really quickly, and they're probably like a medium sized aloe. Again, all these guys grow well in zone 8 to 11, I would say, and are just amazing plants. Okay, what else do we have here? Here's some more Christmas Carol aloes there, and then right here are some other varieties. I'm not sure of this specific variety, but they are very petite, very soft, and related, very similar to that Christmas carol aloe that we talked about. Um, here's aloe solarius, the climbing aloe, 
and it's a very beautiful hardy aloe that does really well and it's pretty tolerant to um, water or drought so this guy will get tall like this and then they'll eventually fall over and drape down beautiful something like that not sure that variety of aloe um, I'll look up look them up someday I have a couple others back here nothing to brag about except for I am gonna brag about this guy here this one that you're about to see is one of my favorite and pretty rare this guy is called the jeweled aloe so it is spiny kind of golden yellow teeth very beautiful look at this probably see why I like it so much kind of just interesting sharp teeth though these teeth are really sharp so you got to be careful um, really thick and fat but this guy is called the jeweled aloe and it's kind of like aloe solarius but on steroids not just in beauty you know with the teeth and serratedness but it's also kind of a climber it comes around here it's about three feet here are some pups that are finally coming out and that one's a bit more on the rare side so this one's the jeweled aloe probably should prune back some of these other succulents there to kind of showcase it but man when it blooms we'll do an episode on it it's one of my favorite aloes in the yard uh, all right let's see what else we can find all right here is another one of my favorite aloes um, this is the torch aloe variegated form so aloe arborescence variegata if I remember correctly and you can see it's a new growth is coming out greener in the cold so it's very interesting but man look at the leaves look at that it's just beautiful and remember not all um, aloes are beneficial or healthy like aloe vera some um, are actually poisonous they do smell like ratty and odorous though if they're poisonous so be careful don't just go around eating or wiping aloe on you so if you want to see what the, the variegated non variegated torch aloe looks like I have one over here it's about to bloom the structure of the blossoms are very very unique I really like them and they'll shoot out red and the hummingbirds just love these blossoms so this is the torch aloe in standard form I would say so you can see I mean this this time of year this thing just is in bloom it go, it's a plethora of blooms blossoms so especially it just this is only maybe five or six years old and you can see it was just a singular cutting and now it's gigantic so I'm probably have to prune it back again um, all right we'll go to the front yard and show off the mountain aloe and a few other varieties now all right so here are a few more of our interesting varieties. This guy I saved, it was almost dead. I'm not sure what it is. I thought it was a mountain aloe, but I'll show you our mountain aloe in a minute that's confirmed. So this may be a different variety. Again, there's like almost 600 types of aloes. Uh, another aloe that is beautiful is, what do they call this? The coral aloe, aloe striata, I believe. So we have a couple of these guys. They're very kind of slow to grow. They don't bloom quite as much, but they're very pretty salmon colored flowers. Um, here's an aloe cujo. Uh, finally, it's getting little pups. That's what she can propagate easily. I see about three babies there. So this one is called aloe cujo, and it does a pretty kind of orangish red flower. Here's another um, coral aloe, as you can see. And what else do we have? Here's a few more of the Mount Elgon aloes. They're in green form right now. They do get really red in the winter. Let's see, we have some small Congo aloe here. Here's aloe Congolese. It gets really red in the winter. Very petite, spiny aloe. Here's another variety. I'm not sure. I can't remember what that is. I have it written down, but here's a new um, aloe variety. Again, you can see how small these are. These are grown just in a fountain. So if you want to grow aloes successfully, fountain, pots, indoors, people do them indoors. I like to do them outdoors um, or even in native soil. Um, as long as it's well draining, that's what's key. So here's the mother plant of that Congo aloe. So you saw the variation, really red over there. And this one is really, really green. Here's another version what it looks like really red. So you can see I have quite the collection of aloes. Um, and I continue to find anything really unique or trade or swap for varieties we don't have. So I'll go show another one to finish it off. It happens to be over here. And I love this thing. This is called the mountain aloe. 
aloe, mm, aloe withy, I believe, something like that. But the mountain aloe is, I've seen them in bloom and they actually have really bright yellow flowers. So you can see, I think that other aloe is very similar to it that I showed earlier. Um, some people call, I've seen it called the lobster claw aloe. You can kind of see why. Very, very spiny. But man, this is not flowered yet. When it does, it will be a beautiful yellow blossom. So uh, let us know if you have any questions about aloes in general. As you can see, I have, uh, I don't know how many we have, must 40 or 50. And we de definitely didn't show them all in this episode. I just wanted to kind of showcase the ones that were, that were nearby. And it's pretty chilly, so I'm going to go inside. So give us a like and a subscribe. We'll keep them coming. And get yourself some aloe. Take good care of them. And get something like aloe vera. And uh, you could reap the health benefits. People consume these plants and say they're very healthy. And aloferox is even used as a laxative, believe it or not. All right, take care. Dude, it's creepy.